welcome to the Cook's Demo. Today, just a short video to talk about mustard oil. Mustard oil is featured in a lot of Indian food, and it's actually the preferred oil used in the uh, Asian, uh, Southeast Asian um, part of the world. They will fry with it and uh, dress with it, and any oil you usage you can think of, they'll use mustard oil, and that's neat mustard oil. However, in the UK, the US, the European Union, mustard oil is banned for human consumption. I know here in the UK, it isn't banned for sale though, you can buy it. But it's not down an aromatherapy aisle or, uh, or in the chemists or something like this, you know, because they say you can use it as a massage oil or you can rub it in your hair. No, you'll find it in grocery stores next to sunflower oil and vegetable oil and olive oil. That's where I find my mustard oil that I buy. Um, it does say somewhere on the label, external use only. But nonetheless, it's sold in, you know, in the grocery stores. Also, if you've ever eaten Indian food from a restaurant, you have consumed mustard oil. The Indian people aren't gonna consider that mustard oil is bad. To them, it's what they use, it's what, what their culture uses, and there's no reason for them to think any different. They're not gonna read the labels, nobody does. And um, you buy it in the grocery store, like I said, right next to all the other oils. And mustard oil has a particular aroma and a particular kind of um, shine to it, um, which when you use it on your Indian food, just brings the authentic value of the dish up. It's one of the reasons why I do use it. However, we should discuss why is it banned? It's banned because of one of the acid chains in mustard oil. Now, don't be alarmed. All oils have these acid chains. They're all to different varying degrees uh, and different amounts per the different types of acid chains. But in mustard oil, a particular one called erucic acid, I believe it's pronounced, um, is higher than the legal limit. Not that the erucic acid per se is the problem, it's the quantity that is in mustard oil is the problem. It's considered high, which is 5%. So it has to be five or less, but it's higher than that, and therefore banned for human consumption. The European Union says up to 5% is safe. Mustard oil is much higher than that. Now, there are companies like KTC that makes an edible mustard oil. And, and the label only says that in, in our countries. It doesn't say that in India, for example, all mustard oil is considered edible there. But all they've done is taken half a liter of mustard oil and half a liter with something neutral like grapeseed oil. And that brings the overall percentage by volume of the erucic acid to within the legal limit. The problem with banning something by volume is that you have no idea how much of that volume you're going to you know, ingest. Um, if you were to drink an entire liter of, of mustard oil, I can imagine it's gonna do you some damage, but I think the oil itself, regardless of what oil you're going to have, ingesting that much oil can't be good for you. Um, you will find that technically the legal limits are a couple of things. It's not just 5% by volume, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's the one that says that for humans, we shouldn't consume more than seven and a half milligrams of erucic acid per kilo of your body weight. You're allowed up to seven and a half milligrams times by 80 kilos, say, per day. Now that might not sound like it's a huge amount, and it isn't, but you also have to consider something else. It's like calories. Imagine engorging yourself with 20,000 calories on a Monday and they're a very lean diet for the rest of the week. By the end of the week, you would have been about right for your calorie intake for the week. If you could do it, you could also think about it on a monthly point of view. You could five days of the month engorge yourself on a ridiculous amount of calories and was lean on every other day. For the month, your calorie intake will be about right. Now, I don't cook with mustard oil. I don't fry in it or anything like that. For me, it's a little drizzle over the top of the cooked food it gives it the gloss, it gives it that shine, it gives it that smell and brings the authentic value up. But I don't eat Indian food every day. I only use it for my Indian food. I don't eat Indian food every day. So let's assume that that little drizzle that I did put was the legal limit. And that's as long as I ate the entire serving bowl. Remember, I do this over the entire batch. That batch could be for four people. But let's assume I poured the entire legal limit and I ate the whole thing. 
and I've hit the limit for one human being for one day. If I don't have any tomorrow, I've effectively reduced my daily amount by two. If I don't have it for three days, I've reduced it by three. By the end of the week, my limit of, my daily limit of uh, erucic acid is actually a lot less. And it's because of this kind of thinking that doesn't bother me to have that little drizzle of mustard oil once, twice a month when I cook, you know, an Indian meal. But if it does bother you, then please don't buy it. Don't use anything or just gloss your food with another oil. It might not have the same authentic value, but at least you'll feel better about your decision. The only other thing I'm gonna add, because I don't want people to think that this video is about me trying to convince you to use it. Please, I'm giving you the information so that you can make a decision, but I don't like just scaremongering. I don't want people to just listen to all the bad, and that's something we do as human beings. We hear the bad and we run with it, and we think, oh my God, have you guys heard mustard oil, the new danger? Almost everything we eat has something in it that kills us. Tomatoes are actually poisonous to human beings. It's not something you hear every day. They're poisonous. They can kill you. The only problem is, is that the amount of it, that, you know, what's in the tomato that kills us is so low, you'd need to eat 10 kilos. And that's putting it to one side that eating 10 kilos of tomato will kill you anyway. Mustard oil isn't going to kill you in my opinion. And I don't think you're going to be consuming anywhere near the kind of quantities that apparently could harm you. Don't have it every day. Don't fry with it. But I'm no doctor, so don't take any word from me. Um, just make a decision based on what I've told you. And if you don't want to use it, then please don't use it. I was editing this mustard oil video when I felt that something wasn't quite clear. So I'm adding this little bit at the end just to clarify the point. Uh, it's about what the 5% by volume means and uh, why it's a meaningless term. Um, basically, scientists have figured out that certain chemicals, well, all chemicals, we have a tolerance to to a point and it's safe, and any more than that is when it becomes unsafe. Erucic acid is in a lot of things that we eat. It's in normal mustard, you know, the yellow stuff that comes out of a jar or a squeezy pot or something. There's erucic acid in that. There's erucic acid in lots of things, um, just as there are harmful chemicals in lots of things, the tomatine, for example, being a chemical in tomatoes that is poisonous to us. But we know that up to a certain point, we can consume it safely. So the problem with the 5% by volume, the reason why I, had, I have an issue with that is because it, we don't know how much we're going to actually put into our bodies with that. Someone who only has a splash of that oil um, will consume a tiny amount of erucic acid, which actually might be well within legal safe limits. Um, and so it, even if erucic acid was 90% of the bottle, if you only have a splash, the actual milligrams of the uh, erucic acid is tiny and therefore it's safe, right? Um, you could think of it in the point of view like alcohol, where we say a bottle of spirit has 40% alcohol and yet a beer has 5%. Our tolerance for the actual alcohol doesn't change. We can have an X amount of alcohol per day and any more than that and we get alcoholic poisoning, which is probably why our uh, spirits, 40%, we consume tiny amounts of shots and beers we drink by the pint. So that's the point. So I always feel that the 5% rule that we have in the UK is, is nonsensical because we have no idea how much you're going to ingest. Science says seven and a half milligrams per kilo per day is safe. So as long as you limit to that on a daily basis, you can have a rusic acid every single day. So I don't want people to think, erucic acid is dangerous stuff, we've got to avoid it. It's in a lot of things you eat every day. <laughs> it's not just in mustard oil. Just in mustard oil, it's considered a little high, and that's the government deciding, well, people probably consume about 200 mils of that a day, and if they were to have 200 mils of that a day, oh, it will kill people. Well, who knows whether you're having 200 mils of it a day. There are some people who are having, you know, just like some people are drinking liters of uh, whiskey a day and do eventually kill themselves. So that's what you've got to remember is the danger. It's not that erucic acid is dangerous, but more about how much of it you consume. And if you consume tiny amounts, or if you consume it the way I consume it, which is only a tiny amount, once or twice a month, it's not going to harm you in my opinion. 
So that, I just wanted to clarify and make that 